You may be wondering why I'm walking around like an ape in my underwear in my kitchen. At this point, I was asking myself the same thing. I'm Ryan and welcome to my channel, The Ryan McDowell, where I am on a mission to become the best creator that I can possibly be while making fun videos that are hopefully entertaining and make people smile. That's the goal. I'm sticking to it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got into this whole underwear ape predicament. But first, a little backstory. For the past three years, I've had a New Year's resolution that's kind of around content creation. The first one was that I was gonna make a personal project video each month and put it out there, and I made four of the 12. So I didn't quite hit the goal. But I made four videos that I probably wouldn't have made otherwise, and they were seen by millions of people, got me some really incredible connections, and they're videos that I'm really proud of. The next year, I decided I was going to make a TikTok every day and post it, and I was gonna practice writing jokes and telling stories. And I made it three months. <laughs> so again, about 25% of the way through the year. But those videos were seen millions of times. I got grew the account up to around 7,000 followers. I mean, I improved a lot at writing, telling stories, and being on camera. I don't know if you can tell. While I may not have hit my goal, I did learn a lot through these two years of resolution. It helped me to practice my craft, to get out of my shell a bit, and to actually go out and make videos and put them out there outside of my day job. My day job is directing ads and commercials, which I really enjoy. However, I find it more rewarding when I'm taking ideas from here and working with people I like and putting it all into a video for the purpose of entertainment. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love directing commercials and please hire me to do so. <laughs> but there's something really uh, special about, you know, just making content and making videos and making films for the purpose of art, for entertainment, for comedy, and to share something. And that's what I'm hoping to do with this channel. So this year, my goal is to publish one personal project each month and then do one of these behind the scenes videos to show you kind of how I made that video and tell the story of that. And this is the first behind the scenes video. So Ryan, you can quit stalling. Let's get to the video. The concept was to create a one minute video showing a morning routine through the stages of human evolution only to have the character devolve back into a more primal version of themselves once it became time to work. I got to this concept partially because I gave myself some parameters for this first video. The, one of them was that I needed to make it with things that I already owned and to spend little to no money on it. Uh, there are some videos throughout this year long process that I'm planning on making that are going to cost a lot more money. And so some of them also need to be little to no budget because the big ones are going to bankrupt me and I am sprinting towards poverty. <laughs> the other guide that I gave myself is that I wanted to work on a skill and the skill I chose is motion or telling the story with your body and like this. See the storytelling? A lot of times my first thought is to just say something. <laughs> this character just says this to this character. I'm really envious of uh, actors and directors who are great at using subtle body language or even not so subtle body language to tell a story. I thought what better way to improve at directing those type of things and writing them into my work than to uh, practice it myself. <laughs> I'm having trouble running like an ape. Uh, so I pulled up some YouTube videos of uh, apes and how they like sit and how they run and how they walk. And so I'm gonna practice in front of the mirror. I've actually been doing a lot of practicing walking in front of the mirror. Uh, and it feels really silly, but <clears throat> it's hard to be in place. <laughs> I'd be like really into it and I'd be like sweating and really like tired. And then I would catch it, like look at myself in the mirror and just like kind of realize what I was doing. Like, oh, this is silly. <laughs> this is kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, if you ever need to uh, pick up your spirits, I would just try walking like an ape. So I looked up the stages of human evolution and they were generally around five. Some charts had slightly different ones, but the ones that I settled on were Diropithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalus, and Homo sapien, which you are one of. Then I picked a morning activity that I do in my morning routine and corresponded it to those stages. So it was waking up, eating, drinking coffee, 
uh, brushing teeth slash showering, and then finally like dressed and ready for the day. The next thing I need to do was set up my shot. So I moved all the furniture in our living room and our kitchen and set up a big black seamless piece of paper. And then I tested out a few different lighting setups. So I found one that I was relatively happy with. Working with a pretty limited space here in our kitchen <laughs> slash living room. It's not like a, the biggest um, apartment here. To make the cuts work, I knew it was gonna be challenging, but I needed everything to be fixed once it was ready. So camera, very stationary, lights, nothing moving. And then I also needed to be in the same spot of each motion for each stage of evolution. So one thing I did was put a piece of uh, gaff tape so it helped me stay kind of in the same spot of the frame. Walking in place, I would think that I was in the same spot, but I'd be my eye line was above, you know, looking straight ahead. I'd be like walking in place and then I'd look down and I would have walked like three feet ahead. The other thing that was tough was walking at the same tempo. So I actually picked out a song and played it the whole time when I was walking. The song was Very Disco by Daft Punk. It's a good song. I loved it for the first 150 times it played while I was recording. My Spotify rap at the end of the year is gonna be a, definitely that song. <laughs> It's in 4-4 time and it's a very steady downbeat, which makes it kind of easy to keep the same tempo too. It's also 107 beats per minute, which is kind of slower than a lot of those other EDM songs that have that kind of downbeat. So I felt like it was a good pacing for me. Showtime, here we go. We've made it to our second stage. This is our second evolved look of the morning. Instead of being on all fours, which was all harder than I thought it was gonna be, it'll be more of just a hunched over, hunched over Neanderthal with a banana. I, I feel like it's like a pro peeled banana. Donkey Kong would be pumped on this thing. I'm a toothpaste, the toothbrush. Next scene is going from a little more knuckle draggy, just hunched over. Hopefully to match cut with that banana eating is what we're trying to time here. Oh, we've made it to the next stage, which is the one where I finally get to wear pants. Okay, we are in our last setup for this video. Overall, this has been pretty exhausting. Hunching over like an ape for what I've been filming for around, around four hours, almost four hours, three and a half, four hours now. Oh man, that has wiped me out. Um, so we'll get a few more and then uh, throw in the computer and see how we did. So what I'm doing now is actually I'm recording sounds <clears throat> that could be fun to to play, uh, play up this little character of Ape Ryan evolving. <sighs> oh. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. So I, I tried to get four to six clips that I thought I'd be happy with for each stage of evolution. Cause I knew when putting them together, there might be some points that aren't exact uh, when we match. And that was the case. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the match cuts edited together, but it was challenging because you might have the end of one clip that cuts together great with the next the beginning of next one, but then the end of that one might not cut with the beginning. So you might want to change the clip out that matches each one better. One thing that helps hide it is that I put like a fake stop motion effect on both the motion graphics and the video, and that makes the whole thing kind of jumpy. And so when it does jump cut to the next thing, it's not as maybe off-putting or, or aggressive. So then I published a video and I was a few days early before the end of January. Now the BTS video technically is late, but I think I'm, I'm gonna count it and I'm on my way to hitting my goal. And overall, I did have a lot of fun making this video. It forced me to you know, get out of my comfort zone, really work on body movement, and to start this process and to make something. So if you liked the video, please subscribe. I can't make YouTube shorts until I have a thousand subscribers. Today I'm at 90, <laughs> so I have a little ways to go. But you know what? You gotta start somewhere. So at the end of the you know at the end of the year we'll see, maybe I'll be at a hundred subscribers, maybe a hundred thousand. Who knows? But you can be there along the way. You know, the main video is out now on the channel, so go check it out, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>